This little boy, isn't he adorable? Eight week old schnauzer puppy. Today I'm going to do him in a teddy bear groom. I'm going to show you step by step what I do with an eight week old puppy that we're keeping in a teddy bear groom. So Mira's holding the camera for me at the moment and she's going to come in close when she needs to. But I start off just by running a comb through them and they're used to being combed. They get combed every day. And so we just run a comb right through the whole coat. And so these little teddy bear schnauzer puppies are so cute. Yes, you're doing a great job. Yes, you are. So Amy Lee, the Go Groomer, introduced me to this five-in-one clipper, and I just love it. It's great for all the things that I need to do on teddy bear cuts. This is the Kinshi Flash, and it's a digital five-speed cordless clipper. So here we go, and I'm going to begin by just trimming out the pads of his feet. And I just run this right along the pad of the foot. And when I need to, I just give him a little break. Hi, hi, yeah, let's keep going. And I just make it a little bit of a game so that it feels sort of fun, like we're doing a little hide and seek. Hide and seek, yes, yes. It's important if you're grooming your own schnauzer puppy that you take your time and help them to feel comfortable with what's happening. So we just very lightly scoop out the hair. Yes, that's right, that's what we're doing. Hi. And I will do that for each foot here. And I'll bring you back into the, I'll bring you back in when I get finished with the pads of the feet. So just finished grooming out the pads of his feet. And here's a high five from this puppy so that you can see what we did. And this is the hair that came out of the pad of his foot there. And so I'll clean that up before we start the next step. But next, what I do is the sanitary trim. And again, if you're grooming a puppy like this, a teddy bear schnauzer, or any puppy that you wanna groom at home yourself, you wanna get comfortable doing the sanitary trim. So let me show you what that looks like now. Teddy bear schnauzer sanitary trim. So we start back here and just clean out this hair. Yes, yes, we're just cleaning out this hair. And I actually like to go up pretty high um, here and just get everything. I'm just skimming the surface. I'm not actually pushing hard against his skin. Yeah, yeah. There you go. And here's the amount of hair that came off of this eight week old teddy bear schnauzer from underneath his belly. So you can see that. And now I might run against one more time just to get a little closer right here. Yeah, you're doing a great job. You are, yes. Yes, great job. Next part here is to do right under his tail and his bum. And I'll show you how I do this. I go away from the anus on each side and then I go up the back side of the tail. Again, just barely skimming, not really hitting the skin, but just the right along the outside edge of the skin. And so now you can see up the back side of the tail here that he's cleaned off. This really helps when puppies are young and they're pooping. Sometimes they'll even sit in their poop right after they poop, and this helps get that clean. Please, if you're getting one of these little puppies, please make sure you check their bum regularly. And you may have to run your puppy under some warm water, hot water, so I'll run them right under hot water like this if they have any little crusty pieces on their bum. Don't pull those off with your fingers like this. Instead, soak them off. My next step is to begin to trim with scissors. And I have several pair of scissors that I really love. 
I love these that I got again from uh, Amy Lee, the Go Groomer suggestion. These are fantastic. So the sapphire shears. And I have to tell you, before I met Amy Lee, I was using really bad scissors, but I didn't know it. And once I started buying really good scissors, I am able to be much more effective in my grooming work. And frankly, it's more fun for me too. And I suspect for you as well. Now, my approach to grooming out the face is rather different from people who have a grooming certification. So Anne, for example, groomed the uh, puppy Toffee in a traditional cut earlier today, and she approaches it very differently than me. I don't have what I would call really great eye-hand coordination. I'm not somebody who's naturally what I think of as super handy. And so bear with me, please, on this, but I use these scissors because they're very long, and I wanna make sure that I'm not getting the point of the scissors close to the eye. And so I'm gonna show you how I do this. And if you're an at-home groomer and you're also not handy, I would not suggest that you get scissors that have points or even rounded scissors super close to their eyes. But here's the way I do this. So I pull the hair back and I come right in against this little area right here. I just pull this hair up and I take the scissors. And now this way I can't poke him in any way in the eye with the scissors because it's so much longer. So you can hopefully see how I'm doing this. And he's used to having this done because I, I do this regularly to them to get the hair right out of their eyes here. And depending on what we want with the teddy bear cut, I, I might do some uh, along the top here, just a little bit. I'll show you what that looks like. So again, the tip of the scissors is up above over his eyes. So if he starts squirming and moving as he's doing, I'm not going to hit him in the eye with the scissors. So that's why I do that. And I know that that might be somewhat controversial among people who are trained groomers, but I am a experienced, this is, I'm, I'm doing it based on my life experience here. So, okay, now I'm going to trim out the ears just a little bit, I switch this, here we go. And again, I'm just running this right along the edge. I'm not actually um, sort of digging into the ear. I'm just running it along the edge, just like that. Just so I'm getting, if there's any, here, I wanna show you inside the ear. So here's what the inside of his ear looks like currently. And so now I'm going to groom that out. Whoops, okay, come on. There we go. And I usually have somebody helping me with this who's holding the puppy. And since my helper today is holding the camera, I'm going to use this and go this way with him. All right, yes. Let's just loosen this a little bit. I love this groomer's helper because it enables me in situations like this to get just a wee bit more control. All right, here we go. It's okay, it's okay, yep, yep, all right. So there are times where you have to say, I'm going to let him win here just because I want him to have a really positive grooming experience. And when I have somebody who can hold him a little bit better, than I can, then I'll do that. So when we're finished with the filming, I'll come back and uh, have Mira hold him while I just do the inside of his ear, just a little bit here, just so we can take that extra out. But again, I want him to think of this as a fun experience. And so you can see him in the uh, mirror. He likes to look in the mirror at himself. So I'll move these scissors away now. And I like these rounded scissors, the sapphire rounded ones, because I can do right around the foot. And so I leave the foot on the table and just go right around the edge of the foot. And I will do all of his feet and then we'll come back again. So just trimmed using scissors around the 
edge of his feet. And now I have these chunker scissors and I can shape in that teddy bear cut with the chunker scissors. And so I can get a more rounded look on his head just using these. And I can begin to desensitize him to the sound of scissors. He's again had scissors around him before, but he's probably not liking the way I'm holding him at the moment. He's saying, hey, I wanna be free, I wanna go play. But this is the way I can create somewhat of a rounded, and then I also trim out the tail so that when his tail is wagging, you see a cute little tail here. So I'll just trim this out until I get him looking like the little teddy bear that I want him to be. One of the things if you are doing at home grooming like this, the great thing is you can experiment, you can do five minutes at a time, you can get your puppy very, very comfortable with grooming, you can help your puppy to love grooming. Amy Lee the Go Groomer, if you haven't checked out her channel, highly recommend that you do if you want to be your own puppy's groomer. This coming Monday night, Amy is going to be doing a live event where she talks about the differences between the different clippers and why you might want to have different types of clippers. So when I'm doing my larger dogs, I definitely use these clippers. And with my smaller puppies, I tend to stick with this Kinchy Flash. However, when I'm doing the larger dogs, I use both on them. But Amy's going to explain why and how and when to use all the different types of clippers. So if you were asking yourself the question, why does Sean have, what is it? We have four or five different clippers here. We wanted to test them out and figure it out. And Anne likes one thing and I like something else. And so that happens regularly too. But please check out Amy Lee, the Go Groomers channel. If you haven't already, you'll see she has one of our puppies. She has Ellie Grace and she has a playlist on her channel where she, Amy, is grooming Ellie Grace, one of our schnauzers. So check that out if you haven't already subscribed to Amy's channel too. I look forward to sharing more about this little fella. He is available, he does not yet have a home. And so if you're looking for the perfect Valentine's Day uh, experience for yourself, if you say, hey, I'm ready to get more love in my life, this little fella could be a wonderful addition to your family. You can reach out to me through my website, svcctoys.com. That stands for Saucon Valley Cute and Cuddly Toy Schnauzers. And in just a few seconds here, there are three images that are going to pop up. The center one with our logo in it, the circle, if you haven't pressed that already, that will enable you to subscribe to our channel. If you're getting value out of our videos, please subscribe. We'd love to have you be a part of our Schnauzer family. You'll also see the opportunity to click on a playlist or a video of your choice. In other words, it's the, the video that YouTube thinks you most want to watch next. So I look forward to seeing you in our next video. Thank you so much for watching.